California Senator Jim Nielsen is pushing for legislation that would ban so called whippets from being sold at smoke and head shops. They contain nitrous oxide and can be used to get high. But if it's legal, is it really that dangerous? CBS 13's Kelly Ryan talked to one family who said it is essentially taking their son's life. For the families who spoke at the hearing today, they say they never heard of the term whippets. And they say it was tragedy that led them to the dangerous truth. Um, it's had a pretty significant impact on my life. 20 year old Shane O'Brien sits in a wheelchair dealing with neurological damage, he says, was from his use of whippets. I knew it was a cheap, high, and short lived, um, so I started spending money on them and it just became a habit. He was at the Capitol today speaking in favor of a ban on the sale of nitrous oxide, often called whippets, sold in many head and smoke shops. I just think the risks for uh, nitrous oxide are too high. Something he says he never realized as a frequent user to get what he called a cheap high. I worked up to uh, about 200 canisters a day, um, like four boxes. It was his dad who approached Senator Jim Nielsen about the possibility of banning it from certain shops. Now more of the public will be aware of the danger of this product, which they have not been until now. Marianne Rand's 26-year-old daughter Camille was killed in a car accident after the driver, believed to be using nitrous oxide, passed out at the wheel. There were hundreds of canisters found at the scene. Canisters she knew nothing about then. But now, like others who spoke at today's hearing, she supports the ban. Young, young kids that don't know the potential dangers of this. Sean's dad says he's hopeful, but for now, his son's prognosis is uncertain. It could be where he's with a cane and lack of mobility for the rest of his life. It passed through the committee today unanimously. And if it makes the governor's desk and he signs it, if a store is caught selling nitrous oxide, it could be shut down. Kelly, thank you. Now, this is not the first time the dangers of nitrous oxide have been brought to light. In 2012, two people were killed in a crash in Folsom by a driver high on nitrous oxide. And a one of a kind lawsuit was filed in 2012 against three Sacramento area smoke shops after a local man suffered a spinal cord injury related to the use of nitrous oxide. That case was settled in 2014.